I am here in beautiful Maui today, and I am here with the legendary Dustin Dunhill. <laughs> How's hey, it going, Greg. Dustin? Nice to see you, man. You too, man. So me and Dustin have known each other for about three years. This is the very first day that we've ever met, and I'm here today to present Dustin with something from Chasing. This is for you. This is an appreciation of all the hard work that you do, not only for us, but I believe for everybody in the ROV industry. I awesome. think you're probably the best ROV uh, reviewer that there is. And for all of that, <laughs> I'd like to present you with this gift. Wow, man. This is straight from Chasing, from everybody at Chasing. So this is a new product? This is a brand new product, and it's you're the very first person in the whole world to have one. Wow, great. Hey. Thanks, man. <laughs> You're welcome, bro. Can we open this up? And yeah, check please. It out? Check okay. it out. This is for you, man. It's an early birthday <laughs> present. Backpack. That's the carrying case. small. Yep, it's carrying definitely case. small. Man. And this is, wow, the Chasing Dory. Okay, so I've heard you guys were making something small, and of course you guys are a sub company. Yep. Or ROV company. Right. And I've seen like just the a picture of the backpack briefly on one of your posts. Right. And then I've seen a very, very slight top of this. And I couldn't really see the whole drone because you guys posted a picture. Right, right, right. On social media or something or yeah. with a crowd, crowdfunding site. Yeah. So we have a um, Kickstarter campaign going live next week for okay. this product. Okay. Okay. But you're the first to actually have one. This is actually a production model. Nice. And yeah. this is the first time I'm actually seeing what the whole thing looks like. So this is pretty right. awesome. So and you want to see it a small. little bit? Yeah, yeah man, it looks <laughs> tiny. So yeah, every, I mean, look at how small this box is. I mean, it's little. So wow. I mean, whatever's inside's got to be pretty little, right? So here, let's okay. let's do this. Okay. Whoop. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty cool, guys. So we got a case here, and this thing, man, it's just like a little bit wider than a Mavic Pro yeah. drone. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, it pretty much fits in the palm of your hand. Yep. It's got a really nice case here. Yep. Let's unzip it and see what we got. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I bet you. <laughs> wow. So it is a underwater sub, a tiny little sub. Yep. And super small. You can see that we have three vertical motors here. Yep. Pretty neat. And then there's two rear motors. Yep. And is this one going to do all of the same yep. kind of functions yep. as your Mini? Yes, it does. It uh, tilts down up. It's got a great stabilizer on it. It doesn't wow. have like the depth hold per se that you hit like on the Mini. Okay. But as testing has gone, it likes to stay wherever you put it. So okay, I think good. inside the algorithm, they kind of put that, that technology into it. But yep. just didn't put it on the app. So it's okay, as so a with feature. updates, this is just the first basically this, this production is it. model. Yep. And uh, as with everything, there's going to be updates to the app. So yep. We can expect more. Yep. But it will do a pitch lock. Yep. And you can move forward. Forward. Yep. And pitch, pitch up, up and backward yep. around 45 degrees. 45 degrees total. Awesome. That's the main thing, man. Yep. So that about is cool. About 1.7 knots, 1.7, 1.8 knots top speed. You got your two front lights. Um, that's all adjustable on the app as well. Um, it's a really, really fun little little drone. It's it's basically built mainly for people who are on the go. Go out to the lake for a day and just throw it in the backpack. This is right. what this is for. But still possible to go in the salt water of the ocean. Totally, totally. As long as it's slightly calm. Yeah, so when I got here, I did some testing with it on uh, Honolulu Bay, and it did great. It did amazing. Perfect. So. The main question here that I have for you, what do you think that the cost of price point at retail this is going to be? Okay, and this is the entire package. You got tether, entire package. you got the wireless. Tether. Oh yeah, you so got... here, let me uh, let me show yeah, you that real quick that before we... First. So there's the rest of your components okay. in there. Let's see what we got. So we got plugs, we got a few cables, yep. and here's the main thing, and this is a floating buoy? Yeah, so that's your Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, yep. okay, wow. I didn't expect this to be floating, so this will float in the water. Yep. Like the first generation Gladius had a floating buoy. Yes, the very exactly, first. exactly. And this is tiny. Yeah. Not, not, yeah, so the other one was huge, you know what right. I mean? And then the second, was it the second or the first version that had the, the, the Wi-Fi um, base station that was attached to like the, the reel? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Was that number one or was that number two? Because I, um, I, I wasn't with the company That was then. number one, yeah. That Before was number one. Before you came in, the first one I reviewed from Chasing was... Right. It did have a floating tether buoy reel. Right. And you know, there were some issues, but they worked them out. But look at this tiny little thing. And yeah. is this battery powered? 
so it, it runs off the power of the drone so you never have to charge this people don't ever charge this because <laughs> i did it and i thought oh i'm charging it and it kept green and you know there's a light right here it'll tell you that while when you're connected but i was told later on hey you don't need to charge that so never charge that wow okay so it and just runs off the power just off so. of that yep awesome and then you have 50 feet of tether okay so that's your tether So 50 feet max and this is just the limitation of the sub it's never going to be longer than this right no that's it because okay. um the thing is at about 50 yards past 50 yards you'll lose connection from say if i'm on the shore and that buoy is 50 yards out okay. past sure. i'll lose connection because it's a wi-fi so that's connection. it's it's a really great tool or a great drone for close and personal views got it yeah got it Wow, so all this stuff together. Yeah, um, and the backpack. I, I would assume, and the backpack. So yeah, the, the backpack, backpack super, super cool. With this whole package, yep. always. It's not like a separate thing you have to buy. Yep, wow. all in one. So if you, were to, if you were to ask me the price, I would say somewhere close to like 800, around there. Yeah. Eight or nine. Okay, you're, you're kind of close, but not really. 499 at retail. Wow. Okay, that's... That's so definitely a reasonable this price. is going to be the one that's going to really, I believe, set people off to like really exploring what the ROVs and the underwater drones are all about. Wow, because now we've reached a price point that people feel comfortable with. How small this yeah, thing is. It's so cool, right? It's tiny. Yeah. And as long as it works, you know, runs smoothly, runs good. Mm -hmm. And you're okay with me. Is this mine to keep? That's yours. This is my art from chasing to you to keep. It's awesome. yours. And I can do my full unbiased full review. Full unbiased on review, please. Excellent. Always, you know, you we love know your reviews. So, um, you know, if you find something wrong with it, there's going to be things I'm sure that you love about it. There's probably going to be a few things that you don't like about it. And we want to hear those things. And we want everybody to know those things. Awesome. But for the most part, after my first couple week and a half or so of playing with it, I really don't got any complaints about it. I mean, there's a couple little awesome. bugs here and there, but that's, okay. that's within the software that can be fixed. As yeah. far as the hardware is concerned, this thing is awesome. And so I have a great idea. We're here in beautiful Maui. Let's do a couple things. Let's first go for a dive in the pool. And then after that, we'll go have some lunch. And then we'll head out to Honolulu Bay and give it a real test. That sounds great. Lunch on you? Lunch on me. <laughs> lunch on me, buddy. Let's for do sure. it. Great. All hey, right. Man, thanks. Thank you, man. Let's thank you for everything that you do for us and for everything that he does for the underwater uh, community. You know, let's give a hand to, you know, Dustin. This guy's the wow, man. Thank you. It's the best underwater yeah, drone reviewer that. in the world. I'm just kissing his butt right now, but it doesn't matter because he's going to always say it like it is. Thanks, Greg. All right, let's buddy. Let's go test this thing. All right, let's go. Okay, let's see what we got here, guys. So we're going to do a pool test really quick with this with Craig. And he's going to kind of coach me through how to set it up, so I'm kind of familiar with it. Cool, so there it is there. Of course, we have our tether, and then we have our buoy. Let's see how this all goes together. So I'm assuming that it doesn't matter which end. Nope, right, either one. Okay, cool. So any series, any way you got to plug it in? Any nope, specific it's just ways? plug and, and turn the coupling and you're good. Okay, cool. And then this end is going right into the floating buoy and I hear a tone that it's booting up. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so we got the sub. Okay, that's its dual kind of boot tone there. Yep. I'll go ahead and check out the phone and we're going ahead and we're starting the IF Dory, correct? Yeah, well, we got to check the Wi-Fi first. Oh, yeah. Check the Wi-Fi. Slide that down and yeah, should be... There you go. So there we go. So it's already connected. It pre-connected, right? Yep. Okay, since you connected before. We'll go to go. IF Dory. And there we go. Yep. So how do we know that it's connected? Right here, this yep, little right icon? There. Great. there you go. And all we're doing is pressing start. And there you got camera. Awesome. So there's our camera. And then so we're just moving it after we hit unlock. Probably, yeah, so right? if you touch the screen, you're going to get your voice, virtual joysticks. There you are. Oh, there we go. So they just appear wherever you touch. Wherever you touch. Neat. Now, will it turn on when we're out of the water? Just to test? Yes, it'll turn on when you're out of the water. Okay. See the blue circle between high and low? That's your start and stop, yep. Okay. I thought that was the lock. No, button. that's the lights. Oh, that's the lights. The lights okay. won't come on until the, the motors are running. Got it. So, okay, there we go. Yep. And there's the motors, they're all running. Yep. 
Hit it again. Yep, and, and you're done. the motors. Cool. Can we put it in the water? Yeah, let's do it. Plop it in there. Put it in the motors. There you go. Wow. So, so your left, left hand is going to be your um, forward, backward, left and right. Okay. And right stick is going to be down and up. Wow, it's super smooth, man. Yeah. Let me get a little bit closer so you can get this on camera. There you go. I didn't okay. do an accelerometer uh, calibration okay. yet, so okay. just take it down and then uh, bring it up. Once you take it all the way down, then try to bring it up and it should go to the surface. Sure. So that's all the way down? Yep. And let's go all, all the way up. up. Yep. There she comes. And you're surfaced. Wow. Yeah, it's very, very reminiscent of the, uh, the mini. Yep, and then your tilt. See the uh, see the little di the little submarine model right there. Yeah, I, Go ahead and hit that. Go down. Wow, and it moves quick and smooth. Yes, coming up and down. So, Dustin, here I have an idea. Since you're up here, why don't I get into the water and show the people what it can actually do underwater? That sounds great. Think the first dive. Usually I'm a little wary of like virtual controls on a phone, but actually, honestly, the way this is controlling and how smooth it is, it's totally yeah. tolerable. You have that full pitch control turning in any orientation you want to be in. It's pretty good. And what do you think of the depth hold? The depth hold is fine. Uh, it is staying in the depth hold wherever I have it. You know, you can just be off the stick and it, it seems like it's Staying virtually in that little like one foot area. Yep. Yeah. And that's yep. fine. There's no motors that are gonna my feet and my nope. toes are gonna get caught in. Nope, because of that totally right there. Because so you yeah. got those top things there, you have no worries. Totally safe uh, little club for kids and everything. So yep, so you can't hurt awesome. you. Awesome. <laughs> Don't get your phone wet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually I think this one's waterproof. <laughs> Warrior, warrior, the suits are moving in 
just to get their dollar Treat us be a broken or respect the honor Listen close my friend, this is happening Warrior, warrior If you are around, stand up like a Sons and daughters 